of the words from Kaddish because the land was holding the city right out of my nose. And the words are Let it be during my lifetime, the lifetime of all of Israel. And then I think this is the now when I say,
Okay, I want to learn something very deep tonight, uh, but I don't know if I make myself clear, so I'm telling you before you're going to help me out. I was learning today to stand a little bit about dreams. It says, What's a dream? The truth is that when I'm sleeping and my soul goes up to heaven, I'm, I'm on the level I, I, can, I, can, I can receive things which I cannot receive when I'm awake. So he says, all the things which God is sending down to this world, they're on the level of a dream, right? It's a dream, you know? It's not real yet, right? He says, everything which is coming down from heaven, so listen very carefully. I'll give it to you first, not several London say. The thing is coming down from heaven. How do I conceive of this thing which is coming down from heaven? I conceive it only on, on the level of dreams, right? But then it has to come down to this world. And this depends on me. So this is what it says. But you have to realize, he said, that this light which is coming down from heaven has no vessels yet. I'm the vessel for it, right? So something's coming down from heaven, right? And the way I receive it, that's, that's the shape I'm giving to that light. And whatever level I'm on, whatever I really am, that's what the dreams, what, that's what's becoming of the dream. So he says, therefore, he says that that the vessel of the dreams are my thoughts. And it depends on the holiness of my thoughts. If my thoughts are holy, then my thoughts are vessels for dreams, for this great light. If I have all day long evil thoughts, right? So then at night something is coming down from heaven, but I'm full of evil, full of everything is wrong, right? It's me. That was a dream. But then I'm taking this dream and I'm turning it over and making it right. I'm making the dream bad. But then everybody knows that if I have a dream, just it's very disturbing. I don't know what to do with it. So then I'm asking three friends, or at least one, you should ask three, and you tell them, I had a dream. I don't know what to do with it. So then, if some of you know, that those three friends have to tell you, Mamish, say it, not just wish you and bless you, but the Mamish have to say it. Chalme tova chazese, chalme tova chazese, chalme tova chazese. means you saw a good dream, you saw a good dream, you saw a good dream. He says, because the ultimate vessel for a dream is not so much my thought as it is my words. It's the ultimate vessel for my dream. So, as much as... as, as the dream, uh, like the great light from heaven comes to the level of dreams when it reaches my thoughts, but when it reaches my words, then it becomes real. And the words are so holy and so real, if friends love you, they like they make vessels for that dream. You know? Even if your vessels weren't so good, if your thoughts weren't so good, and like you destroyed this holy light. So they, you know, their friends, you know, they get in there, and they and they reshape your dream, make it make it a good dream. Therefore, he says, Rabbi Nachman says something very strong. Uh, um, everybody knows that when on on the high holidays on your shrine every day, when the priests are blessings are giving us their blessings, then we have a little prayer while they say the blessings. God uh, bless you and keep you. Then we have to say a little blessed prayer and we say like this. God, I had a dream and I don't know what to do with it. Please let it be a good dream. So Rav Nachman says, really, this is just so beautiful because what is a blessing? What, what are blessings? Blessings are dreams, right? Blessings are dreams. But blessings there are dreams and if someone loves you very much, they make those dreams become real. 